Hi, everybody. This is Judge Jerry Simino with Harris County Probate Court Number One. One of the questions that's come up quite often is managing evidence during hearings, particularly contested hearings and bench trials. And we're having bench trials in uh, Probate Court One starting in May. So I thought I would look around and see what the other courts are doing and, and ask many of you, what do you think we ought to be doing? And here's some of the suggestions that we came up with. So I, I put this together for you. Let me kind of share my screen and let's, go, let's get started. So this is about managing evidence in Zoom. And one of the things that we're gonna talk about, or let's talk about the outline here, if I can get this to work. Uh, the, we're gonna talk about basics, first of all, uploading files into chat, sharing your screen. And then I'll talk about using chat, uh, sharing a file with one person or a small set of people, or sharing files with everyone using chat. And then also using share screen, if you wanna do share screen instead of uh, uh, chat, and some of the reasons why you might wanna do that. And one of the things that I learned about that I used to do when I was filing appeals is you can combine files and bookmark them in Adobe so that it'll be easy to reference later on. And I'll talk a little bit about that. So let's talk about using chat. Uh, I'm going to switch my screen now so that you can see uh, my desktop instead of the PowerPoint presentation. And this is the desktop. And yes, my audio here, there, audio there is going to be a little bit off from the audio here in the small screen on the upper right hand corner uh, when I'm talking using this. So uh, I don't want to throw that out everybody off. So here's what you should do when you get into your uh, Zoom hearing. Uh, go ahead and open up your chat box and then this will pop out and open up your managed participants so you can see who all is participating in the zoom hearing and right now it's just me um, when you want to share something with uh, the parties you click on this file right here and it opens up a dialogue box this is uh, from my supreme court emergency orders and let's say i want to do the eighth emergency order, which is an interesting one. I will open it up and it will put it right here in the dialog box for the Zoom chat. Now that went to everyone because everyone in meeting was selected. If we have more than one person, and you're gonna have more than one person because the judge is gonna always be part of this, you can send uh, this document that you wanna send, you can send it to one person in particular or a couple of people in particular and privately uh, aside from the court so the court's not seeing or that no one else is seeing and this would be good for example in when you're trying to refresh a witness's recollection you can send the document using chat privately to the witness who is giving testimony and uh and that witness will see it the court will not see it opposing counsel will not see it unless well, there's an objection for whatever reason, and it may or may not be sustained. But for this for this demonstration, there no one's going to see it uh, except the witness. And then you can ask the witness, does that refresh your memory? If so, then you can continue on. If it doesn't, then there are other options that you may have available to you. Um, but that's beyond the scope of this particular presentation. I just wanted to show you how you can do that in chat box using the chat box. This is managing small bits of information and sending bits of information distinctly to certain people. Um, when you send it to the chat box like this, uh, they're going to uh, see just what's in the chat box. This main area right here where my mouse is, that's gonna show everybody in the meeting. Now, there's a different way that you can do this. And so let me show you how um, you, uh, you can do something different. Let's say you have everything open in Adobe. So you can actually go to Adobe and share that. And when you do, um, it's going to put you in the upper right hand corner like I am now and put the Adobe file really big on the screen. So let's see here. I wanted to um, look at, let's say this third emergency order is the one that I want to look at. So I can just click on it. And there we go, I can make it even larger. And so now we have the third emergency order, which is what I wanted to show, available to everyone. Now remember when you share your screen, you're sharing to everybody. Uh, so you can share that to everyone. 
in your meeting. So that's how you use uh, chat and that's how you use uh, share screen. And so let me um, move over to that uh, PowerPoint presentation so you can see that now. So now that was using chat. And so, and I've showed you how to use share screen. Now I'm gonna talk about uh, combining files and many of you already know how to do this, I'm sure. Uh, but if you want to combine files, I'm gonna stop the share right here. If you wanna combine files, you can go to your uh, Adobe, uh, for example, or whatever program that you're using to combine files. And I'll show you my Adobe here and click on tools, combine files and add files. And so let's say I want to add all of these uh, emergency orders from the Supreme Court. I wanna put all of them in there. And so I can put all the orders here and, uh, and then, but I wanna put them in some kind of order. So it's like first to, sec uh, first to 11th. And so now I've gotta look around and see which one is the first order. And that one is the first one. I'll move that over. Which one is the second order? That's the eighth one. And so on and so forth. There's the second one. And there's the third one. And the fourth one. And so you can keep going on like that. There's the fifth one. And the sixth one is, where are you, six? There's six. And seventh is right there there there's eight already there's the 11th there's ninth and there's the 10th and 11th so now it's all in order and i just simply say combine so they're all being combined right now into one big file now the great thing about this is they are all bookmarked now see that easily bookmarked and so if you want to switch between one or the other you can simply go to the eighth Go to the fifth one, seventh one. Now these, for some reason, didn't go in order, but they are all there now. And so they're all completely bookmarked, easy to find. This is how I would recommend using lots of files, um, lots of digital files. Uh, you can combine them in your Adobe and present them as you need to present them. So that's just a, a very quick, uh, a way of, of showing how to uh, manage your evidence using Zoom, using the chat box to send evidence to discrete persons, or you can send just one or two or three, four documents to everybody using chat. That's, pretty, that's plain and simple. But if you're gonna be using exhibits, then I would uh, probably combine the files in Adobe and uh, use that. So that's, the, now don't forget, there's also a thing called annotations and whiteboards uh, that you can use in Zoom. Uh, you can access them through the share screen, uh, but I'll let you do your own Googling and find out how to do annotations and uh, the whiteboard if you need to use that. But this is just a basic uh, concept of how to manage evidence in probate court using Zoom. And I hope, hope it was very helpful for you. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you the next time you're in court.